DC's ARMY Not the grand force of the military, but the fan base of one of the biggest Korean boys band in the world, BTS. Most of them are hardcore fans. They don't just attend concerts, they learn the Korean language, culture, and they also visit South Korea, especially places related to BTS. This Korean band is the reason that South Korea has recently seen an upsurge of tourism. About 800,000 tourists choose to visit South Korea each year just because of BTS, which represents just over 7% of the total visitors to the country. For every new fans BTS gain, South Korea products and culture become more popular around the world. And these are just a few reasons why BTS is not just considered a band, they are considered a phenomenon. The influence is estimated that they account for $4.65 billion a year to Korea economy, which put them on the same financial league as some of Korea's top grossing companies such as Samsung, Hyundai, and Kia. If we go back just 30 years ago, South Korea television was very different. They had censorship, travel ban, and in such an environment, K-pop as we know it wouldn't exist today. And what BTS has achieved wouldn't even be possible. I was curious to investigate the factors that led Korea K-pop to grow on the international stage and find out who BTS is and how they became such a major economic force and soft power for South Korea. This is RM, Jin, Suga, J-Hope, Jimin, V, and John Cook. Together they make BTS, the first band since the Beatles to have three Billboard number one album in one year, and also the most successful manifestation of the Korean wave, also known as Hallyu. This term represents the rise of South Korea popularity on a global scale. You probably noticed it at the Oscar when Parasite received the top prize for movie of the year, or even on your streaming platform since Korean shows are taking over on Netflix and Hulu. BTS write and produce their own music. They sing about social concerns rather than just boys and girl songs. In their song No More Dream, Silver Spoon, and Dope, they tackle a various range of social issues, such as Korean parents' negativity influencing their children's dream. And the band is not afraid to go political. They even spoke at the United Nations twice, and they are apparently the youngest group to address two United Nations General Assemblies. Shortly after, Ministry of Education said that South Korea needed a caste system and described the average person as dogs and pigs, they released Am I Wrong, calling out the political and social elite on all their wrongdoings and issues. They don't shy away from talking about the pain felt by today's generation, like discrimination, stereotypes, criticism, inequality, and mental health issues. If you listen to their songs and read the lyrics, you'll notice that their music focuses on the concept of self-love, self-expression, and being aware of society. Last November, BTS launched the Love Myself campaign with UNICEF, building on our belief that true love first begins with loving myself. Now you may wonder how a Korean band made it in the United States. When you watch their music video on YouTube, you notice that almost all of their songs are translated in Chinese, English, Japanese, and Spanish. This translation allows them to reach a broader audience, and maybe that's how they found success in the US. Their success in the US could be attributed to the fact that they touched something that wasn't being addressed in the US at the time. Their respect for diversity and justice, the right of youth and marginalized people resonated with people and through digital media spread quickly. As a result, BTS fans want to be part of the lifestyle of their idol beyond music and concert. Their fans are not just obsessed about their music, they are obsessed with everything they touch. Okay, hold on. I think I should emphasize this. I literally mean every single product they touch, even when they aren't intentionally endorsing them. Remember him? This is Jimin, the lead vocalist and main dancer. During BTS' performance of Boys With Love at the Billboard Music Award, he wore these sunglasses. After this performance, the sunglasses sold out in 14 different countries in just one day at a price tag of $280. So a few days ago, BTS label Big Hit Music announced that all seven members of BTS would be fulfilling their military service in South Korea. Our members of the South Korean Korean pop band BTS have announced they will fulfill their military service, public opinion. That means that they won't be performing for at least two years, and the next time you'll see the group together on stage will be in 2025. Not to mention, just about a month ago, BTS announced that they were taking a break as a group to concentrate on their solo career. And many people speculated that South Korea's military service might have been at least one of the reasons. 
Considering the impact the group has on tourism, this is going to cost the Korean government billions of dollars. Ben and Fiance represent at least half a percent of the country's entire economy. This is why the question of whether they should serve or be exempted generated a big debate in the country. BTS economic power is not just limited to fashion. It extends to many other items such as books, lip balms, wine, and even fabric softener. They generate over $1 billion in Korean consumer export every year from clothing to cosmetic to food and other items. They have become so big on the international stage that they have the power to sell at concerts around the world. And yes, they even sold at Madison Square Garden in New York. Whether it's at Wembley Stadium in London with 19,000 capacity or a paid virtual concert where they recently gathered 756,000 people from over 107 countries or even in the United States where they sell stadium in minutes. The band came from a humble background from various parts of Korea and they really struggled to reach to the top. But through hard work and deep connection with their fans, they achieved exponential success. Through BTS, South Korea is spreading its culture to almost every corner of the world. And BTS and Fiance has been recognized by the Korean government and they even gave the boys the order of the cultural merit. But it's important to stress that BTS didn't start the Korean wave. The Korean wave of South Korea pop culture around the world hasn't happened by accident. It was a deliberate government plan by the Korean government that started in the late 1990s. Make sure to check the video I made about the story of K-pop to find out how this happened. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.